All right, we're here with your new LeBlanc lathe machine you just received, and you got it sitting on the floor and everything's ready. First thing you want to do is make sure you get your pads under here. Here's your leveling pad, your leveling screw for leveling your machine up. And you would, once you get your pads under, you tweak these uh, screws down just to where you get a good snug feel. And you would come up. You can go in and do your manual, which is right here. It's got an illustration here showing you how you should level your machine out. We always start here. We start here, back and across here with the master level. Level this out, get this level. Then we'll take it back to the rear end and do the same and get it pretty close, working back and forth. I mean, it's tweaking, but we only, you only need to tighten these first. Those in the back will be done once the machine is completely level. That, you just tweak those down and lock them. That's all you need to do on that. But once you got this, the cross, cross, slot, cross here leveled in, then you would do your longitude level. And once you got it in, you always want, it can be off just a hair because you want flow back to your coolant tank. So you want it to be able to flow, the coolant to flow back to the coolant tank to get into the pump and pump back up. All right, now we're gonna go through all these, these levers. You got your high and low spindle high range, what you want in spindle range. Just so if you're running 530, you can run in low gear, or if you need to run it in high gear, you just switch it to high gear. But there's low gear, and that would be neutral, so you could spin your spindle freely. This is your thread and feed, speed changer lever direction. This is your high and low speed selector. This right here is your, your spindle speed depending on what spindle speed you need, selector, turn like that. And this would be your chart, your uh, feeds, and for cutting threads. And here is your limit speed for the size of chucks you can use at certain speeds. This is, <laughs> this, is this lever here is back and forth. This is for your apron back and forth going longitude. And then you come down here, and all these levers here are for your feed rates, whatever feed rate you need to be cutting at, or if you're cutting uh, threads. You got your jog, your spindle jog button. You have your on and off power button, your on and off switch for coolant, and this little indicator light is your power on. And then we come over here, you got all your controls here and everything. We're here, here's your, we're on this lubrication. This right here on and off is your lubrication for your cross slide and your longitude. Uh, LeBlanc recommends that you t keep it at an eighth so you don't flood your whole system out and lose all your oil and have to be refilling oil every day. If you keep it at an eighth, it's just plenty, it's plenty of lubrication for a eight hour shift. And then you come over here and you have your levers. This runs your Apron, back and forth. This is for your cross slide, back and forth. And then you come down here, this would be your handle to engage either your cross slide or your apron. And this handle here, it engages your half nut for cutting threads. And then you got underneath here, you got a, what you hear is a little button right here. You pull it out. That's what engage your cross slide only your half nuts, I'm sorry, your half nuts only because and then it, nothing else will be able to run with that engaged. Even if it's out of gear, it won't run. So then you pull it out one more time and then you're able to engage either your cross slide or your apron. And then you come down here, you have this little silver lid right here you take off. This adjusts your clutch. This has a clutch system built in here which rides off the feed rod so you can adjust it to however you want. If the operator doesn't take a heavy cut and it binds up instead of ripping the gearbox out, the clutch will allow this whole apron to start slipping so nothing gets tore up. And then you have over here 
is your on and off for your spindle reverse and forward lever. <clears throat> then you would come over, then you got your tail stock. This lever here, turn it, go forward or backwards with your tail stock wherever you need it, positioned at. Your standard, your Blavon lay heavy duties come with a standard two speed uh, tail stock. Here's your selection of your speeds. You've got a quarter or a one to one ratio on your tail spock speed. Whichever speed you need, if you want to spin it quick or it needs to, you need to tweak it in, you can set that by putting, engaging the gears on it. And then you come back, and the other big thing is, after you get everything done, you go into your lubrication, you want to double check everything. Every day you want to come in, <clears throat> you want to make sure your oil level is here. It's full, full. And this is full. And then uh, on this particular machine, this doesn't have a pump on a hand pump. This one's automatically when the machine is running, whenever the carriage kicks in gear, whatever you're doing up here, it's got a built in pump. It turns, it, it lubricates itself. So you can turn it off if you didn't want no lubrication, but we recommend turning it about an eighth of an inch. It's on, it's feeding, it's not draining a ton of, because if you turn it all the way on, it's draining a ton of oil out, which you don't need. <clears throat> and then you would come over here, and you would see a, there's a B, C, B, a B, C, and a C, a little knob here, but you can turn it either way. We leave it in B, C. This is a lubrication, which runs off the pump, which automatically lubricates the cross slide and the apron longitude. Uh, you can turn it to B, where it just operates strictly the bedway, or you go to C and strictly the cross slide, but leave it on BC because that way it's lubricated in your cross slide and your longitude, and you won't have no problems. And then you have all your other lubrication points that should be checked each day. They're right here, 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 and here, and here, also here and here. Uh, that wraps up our introduction to the LeBlanc lathe. If you've got any questions or anything on them, please contact us at LeBlanc Limited.